actually is built uh, originally in 1968. Uh, that was the first year it was here, and at the time the, Angel, the Angels were not here yet, but we had the Seattle Pilots was the first team. They were here a year. They ended up being uh, sold uh, and moved to Milwaukee and became the Brewers, and we did not have a spring training facility, a team, until 1977 when the Seattle Mariners uh, became the spring training team here until 19, I believe 89 is when they was last year they were here until they moved to Peoria. We have, the Angels have been here since 1993, and at that time, the stadium was renovated to host the Angels here, and we extended the agreement Angels with a couple years ago to another 10 years, so till 2035. We average a little over 100,000 fans throughout the 15 to 16 games. We are the smallest, but we usually are in the fifth to sixth ranking in attendance out of the 15 teams. So we still have the old uh, spring training feeling, but I think people like that. It's kind of the old, more of the old, uh, old time spring training feel. We've decided to convert some of these dance to grab -a goes and we're excited to see how this goes. It's going to be a better experience for the uh, fans to be able to grab something and uh, there'll still be something to check you out, but uh, um, we know you can grab your drinks, but you could also grab some hot food. There's going to be hot dogs and pretzels and nachos and stuff there as well. well. Obviously, spring training is our main event. It's what we look forward to every year. It's something we prepare probably the most for. Um, you know, we know we're getting uh, fans from all over, not just in Arizona, but not just South California, but all over. We want to show off. We want to show Tempe Diablo in the city of Tempe. If it's something that we take pride in to make sure that when everybody comes in here, they have a great experience, they have a great time, and they want to come back next year or the years come.